Hey everyone, I'm Holly Wengerski with Suburban Canine. Today we're going to be working in a field and I'm going to be teaching you how to teach your dog off-leash heel. Off-leash heel is an advanced obedience command that you could do with your dog once they already have a solid foundation of the other commands. So today we have Miss Ginger here and we're going to go through all the steps, the tools, all of that fun stuff that you could basically use to teach your dog a brand new command. So here we have Miss Ginger. She is a five-year-old Vishla. I have been training her since she was actually a puppy, but she hasn't been back with me for three years. She has an awesome foundation of her obedience commands. She's a really good girl. So we're gonna actually be teaching her something new today. Good job, Ginge. Good girl. A lot of you might be wondering what is off-leash heel? Off-leash heel to us is basically where we are walking with our dog and they are in the heel position. Heel to us means ears at heel at my side in motion. So when I'm walking, I expect her to be right at my side, her ears aligned with the heel of my foot. That's important because I don't want her ahead of me where she could book it and take it, take off after a bunny or a squirrel that she sees. I also just wanna make sure that she is paying attention to me and focused on me and not the distractions. It's also just a good mental job for her. She's learning a command, she's mentally exercising, she's reg regulating her pace. That overall will make her tired in the house much more. And being a working breed, she wants to do things like this. So giving her physical and mental stimulation is a good way to fulfill her life. So the first step we're gonna be focusing on for off-leash heel is actually gonna be utilizing an over-the-shoulder leash. This leash we actually sell as a company. It's an awesome hands-free leash that you could use whether you want to work on off-leash heel, you want to be able to walk your dog with a stroller, you are a business person and you are constantly making calls while walking your dog. It's a good multitasking leash. It basically goes around your shoulder just like this and then your dog attaches here. The nice thing about it, if your dog pulls anywhere, you're still attached to your dog. You don't need to worry about them, you know, the leash slipping off of your hands and, or over your shoulder and then it flies off. So I really recommend this leash when working on off-leash heel because it gives them a little bit more freedom. So what we're going to do is we're going to clip up Ginger. We're going to have the leash almost dragging or drooping, if you will. And I'm going to be giving her lots of verbal praise and not many tugs at all. So if I do utilize a tug, it's just a light correction. And then I keep my feet moving so she knows what I'm asking of her. So we're going to test it out right now. Good girl. One thing to note as well, Ginger, sit. She has an awesome heel command, like I already mentioned. A couple of things you could do to essentially challenge her a little bit more and also teach her some rules and expectations is I'll stop at random points too. So I'm gonna be stopping and I expect her to stop. I'm gonna be doing left-hand turns where I pivot into her. That's important so she's not sneaking ahead on me. I'll also be doing right-hand turns so she's not fixated on anything in the environment. So by doing those things, she's a lot more attentive to me and when we get to the point of not having the over-the-shoulder leash, not having a short leash and her just being naked, those rules apply there as well and it's pretty clear cut. So then she's not confused on what's expected of her. Ginger, heel. Good girl. I'm gonna practice a couple stops and goes and turns. Nice job. Heel. Now the next step I feel like is usually a more difficult step for dogs for a couple of reasons. We're actually going to be dropping the leash and she's going to be dragging it. 
Some dogs are a little bit unsure about dragging something heavier behind them. Ginger's a confident pup with this. She's always gotten used to dragging a leash. She plays with it. She does her obedience with her leash on. So it's not gonna be something completely out of the ordinary, but here's when you might see your dog test their boundaries a little bit. Now the <coughs> leash is no longer, excuse you, sir. Now the leash is no longer attached to you. So they might have a little bit more tendencies to go left, right, whatever the case is. So lots of verbal praise and encouragement is going to be needed here for this step. Before I had the leash on my body, as you saw, now I'm going to be literally dropping the leash and giving lots of praise. After this step, that's when we get to the short tab step. So we're gonna be able to work on that. Mr. Man, you gotta stop barking. All right, let's do it. Ginger, heel. Good girl, come on, Gingy. Ginger, let's go. Good job. Come on, Ginger. Ginger, heel. Good girl. Heel. Good. Good job. Ginger, heel. Yeah. Good job, Ginger. Come on. Good job. Heel. Good girl. Let's go, Ginger. She's doing awesome with me stopping and going and all the turns. Ginger, sit. Good. Oh, you're tired. Stay. Moving along with these steps. She definitely gets more tired as the time goes on. All right, let's get into the next step. So now that she has done well with the leash dropped and the over the shoulder portion of the leash, we're going to be getting into the short leash. So this is actually a short leash that we sell as a company. Um, it has a brass clip, which is nice and sturdy and has a nice little loop-de-loop -loop that you could use to guide or correct your dog or even quickly pick it up and start healing them. Couple of things with the short leash, it gives your dog a little bit more freedom so they might misbehave more. So when I'm working on off-leash heel with Ginger, she might not necessarily want to be following right at my heel. So I'm gonna be giving lots of verbal praise and guidance to get her moving along with me and knowing like, hey, this is a good thing. This is exactly where I want you to be because the previous steps she was doing awesome, but now we wanna advance it to more of the off leash feel. So I'm gonna get started with this and see how she does. I'm gonna give her lots of verbal praise as a go and I'm gonna be doing those turns that we talked about. Ready, Ginge? Ginger, heel. So I'm gonna start with it in my hand and just giving directional tugs if needed. Good girl. Heel. Good job. And now I'm gonna drop it. Ginger, heel. Good girl. Come on. Good job, man. Good girl, honey. Let's go. Come on. Hey, heel. Picked it up and gave her a slight correction there. Good girl, Ginger. Lots of praise, lots of turns. Good girl. Come on, honey. Yeah. I'll stop, see if she stops. She did. Ginger, heel. Come on, Gingy. She's busy snipping. Light correction. Come on, Ginger. Good. Right hand turn. Ginger, heel. Yes. Good girl. Come on, Ginger. Good. Good girl. Let's go, Ginger. Come on. Good girl. Very good. Very good. Heel. Good. Heel. Good job, Ginger. Let's go. Good job. Ginger, let's go. Good. And she does awesome at stopping when I stop. So that's another thing, like I mentioned before, super important. When she's off leash, if I'm stopping for whatever reason, I also want her to stop. Ginger, down, stay. And she did awesome. Oh, you're gonna show your belly. So that's kind of how she would do with the short leash. She's doing really well. Advancing from here, of course, we wanna be able to get to the point where we don't need the short leash on anymore, that she could basically do it completely naked. Of course, I trust her, so I know she's not gonna be running away from me. So make sure that you trust your dog before you attempt to do this. If you do not, having a 50 foot long line or a 100 foot long line is a good rule of thumb in an open area where your dog could potentially book it towards something else. Start in a low distraction environment, just like we are now here. You can see there's not really much going on. My personal dog's wandering in the field somewhere. 
but there's no people around, no squirrels right now. So she's in a much more calm place where she's, it's easier for her to pay attention. So it's a, we're setting her up for success by starting somewhere easy and then gonna advance at some point down the line. And I'm gonna need to practice this over the next couple of days in different environments to make sure that she is following the rules, she's staying at my side, she's not veering off, sniffing too much, whatever the case is. I also do want to show off leash heel with my personal dog. He has been doing heel for a very long time. We advanced to off leash heel. He knows e collar heel as well. But right now he's completely naked, nothing on him. And I want to show you what the end result would look like as well. So I'm going to say, Anakin, Annie, heel. He was chewing on a stick. Let's go, Annie. Good boy. Anakin, good. Good boy. Down. Stay. So Anakin is a dog that naturally has a slower pace when he's paying attention. So you can see he lags a lot more. So I have to, you know, give him a bit more praise, tap my leg, but he doesn't need nearly as much praise as Ginger does because of the fact that he knows this command. He does it very frequently. It's something we do often on our walks to advance his obedience. And that's overall what it'll end up look, looking like. The biggest way to success with off leash heel is practice. So just get out there, go on a field, practice every day if you can. Even if it's just 10 minutes, it's something new to your dog. The more you practice, the better they're gonna get at it. And I hope you enjoyed this short little tutorial on how to teach off leash heel.